G'day everybody and welcome back for some more Kerbal Space Program and hope you all had a nice break those who celebrated hope you all had some nice chill time if you don't um, I was last time doing a whole bunch of moon related shenanigans and Gene keeps giving me more moon related shenanigans and I was looking through the missions just now and I think I might have a bit of a uh, combo mission that could work out quite well. So annoyingly, the next Explore the, Mi the Moon mission is to transfer crew between vessels. Now, based on the dock two vessels in orbit of the moon mission that I've had before, uh, this requires two brand new launches to do. So I wanted to find two moon missions that I could do separately to then transfer a crew between to successfully complete this mission. So what I thought I would do is send some Kerbals up in this space station mission, which could be an interesting one because it needs 10 Kerbals, and then transfer them to another mission which is intended to get science... Well, I can probably do that one on any of them. Uh, science data from the surface. And... There was another one. There's a satellite. <laughs> so we can do a satellite as well. And... Ooh... No, I won't try and do that one as well. Uh, there was another one. There was another one. No, that's Minmus, Kerbin. Let's have a look at what this equatorial orbit of Kerbin is. Although that feels like it'll have to be three separate launches then. Which is not great. <laughs> also, thank you so much, Eagle Quadruple Zero One. Thank you for two months. Thank you, Chibi. Thank you very much for Tier 2 for 21 months. <laughs> Thanks so much, Chibi. And thank you, Shadow Wolf, for five gift subs. <laughs> thank you very much. Uh, it goes pretty well for me today, actually. Um, the weather has turned more pleasant. It's getting warmer. Uh, my whole family will be together today for the first time in about... Five years, I think. Because one of my brothers lives over in Ireland. Uh, let's check out this equatorial one. Uh, leave facility. Yeah, <laughs> yeah Tomaso, so it is a good thing. And thank you, Victorious. Thank you for seven months. Okay. That's not such a bad one. Hmm. Alright. Let's see what crazy multi-mission I will attempt today. Oops, no, didn't my... No! I didn't want the space plane hangar. I haven't done anything in the space plane hangar. Oof. Minus 41 degrees. That's cold. That is proper cold. Alright, so... Uh, that. And that one. There we go. Mm -hmm. Alright. Let's go build a rocket. So, missions I have. We need to get... I'm going to start with the orbital station one. Facility supporting at least 10 Kerbals. What do I have that supports... Wait, how much science did I come home with last time? I'm not sure I spent it. No, I have spent it. Well, that's sad. Uh, don't think that helps me. Ooh... Crew capacity 4 for the hitchhiker. Mm. I might. 
I want to get this one for the... For being able to actually fit more kerbals on a thing. Uh... Yeah, let's do it. So, start with that then. Uh... I need to have a station that has 10 kerbals, viewing cupola, two pilots, maintain stability for 10 seconds, and put my station in orbit of the moon. That's actually not too bad. So if I go with that, then... Wait a second. <laughs> thank you, thank you for the 300 bits here your types. <laughs> May what you drink come new years flow well and often. Uh, with my other half uh, being pregnant, I don't think I'll be doing much drinking on New Year's, but I'll probably be doing a little bit. It feels mean to do so when she's sober. Which part is the storage thing in? What's the... What? 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 Ah! Utility. Ah, uh, yes, this is my first. Uh, hmm. Tempted to do this. Oh. Nope. Helps if I hold down the actual key that I meant to hold down. I have to do something stupid like this. Uh, but I won't. I should leave that for it having a docking port on it, though. Thanks, Gilbert. Thank you for the Prime sub. So that's how many kerbals is the this support? One. Oh, I still need one more kerbal capacity. I think I shove a lander can in here. Something like that. Does this have uh has reaction wheels? So that kind of works. Hmm. Actually, alright. Just start this fresh. Start with the lander can, then put the cupola on top, then put these down the bottom. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then, because I do want to make sure I can... Because I may need to doctor something like this later. There may be a mission that comes up, so we'll shove that in there. <laughs> Get rid of one of the viewing windows immediately. So it's all good. Yep, I know there are secret launch sites. I've not really done it much on Kerbin. I've been focusing on the space side of stuff. Um, okay. Let's get another... Let's put a payload bay on this. And I will put some power. And maybe more than one power. I really need to unlock some more, um... Oops. I really need to unlock some more solar panels. Oops, that's in front of the ladders. Oh. 
More power, yes, all the more power. Um, and I think I might. I'm tempted to put another inline reaction wheel on this. I should probably also uh, put some RCS thrusters on it. Uh, where's my mass? Stop putting stuff in front of the ladder. That'll do. And some fuel, which probably means I'll need to move these down. Where's my round RCS tanks? That might be a bit more than I want. Yeah, let's just go that one. Yeah, that's close enough. So we've got power, we've got RCS thrust. Now I just need to get enough stuff to get this to the moon. And I might also add the satellite on top of this, maybe. I do not have access to the Mark III passenger module, no. I don't even have access to the regular passenger module, I don't think. Oh no, I've got the crew cabin. The crew cabin and the hitchhiker, that's all I got. Alright, so what's this satellite that I've got? So the Kerbin one is just a regular equatorial orbit. The moon one needs a science junior and a mystery goo. What if I do something a little bit different for this one to what I've done for the others and mount these radially? Mount them radially off the top part, and I'll separate them. Ooh. Actually, that could be bad. Eh, could be funny. Because <laughs> the rocket will be uneven once I launch the one that goes into Kerbin orbit that doesn't go to the moon. Or I could try and have enough power on it that it can do both. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. This will be, this will be funny. This will add to the challenge. Hey Goldie. Um, hey Tyrone. Yeah, I think this is the way to go. Uh, so I start with a decent sized fuel tank for this thing. And then we'll put all the other command and control stuff on it. So I want to have a little payload bay. And in that I will put a Perdurbidine. Sure. Then power. Then science. It's going to make this real heavy. Hmm. Oh, that'll be fine. Science and mystery goo. I probably should have made a rule at the start whether I was going to let myself do clipping like that, but I'm just going to do it. <laughs> uh, okay, that's all. I need power generation for these. Uh, huh. Is there a way for me to switch out 
symmetry mode, so it's focused on the sub assembly. Hey, Black Shadow. Uh, build one and then, yeah. Yeah, this'll do. I've had too many successful launch re launches recently. I need to start taking some chances. Aerodynamics. Let's get a nose cone on it. In fact, let's actually do this with a... Spherical fuel tank. Where? Then, it's got to be a pug, right? I'll also put a high gain on it as well. There we go. So that's got that's got the mystery that's got the science junior, it's got the mystery goo. It can generate power. It's got a battery. I did put a battery in there, right? That was the first thing I put in there. Yeah. Battery. Command. Okay, so those should be fine. I will need to strap them down a bit though. Cuz they're going to create some serious drag. Seat belts, yes. Seat belts, that is what we are attaching. Must wear your seat belt. Okay. Oh no! Click on that. Now we need a giant rocket. Nope, that's the wrong size tank. Then engine. My poodle. I'm going the poodle this time. It's safe to lurk today without getting jump st scared by sudden noises. Uh, depends if you listen for the countdown or not. If, if you hit 3, 2, 1, then you're probably going to hear a rocket boom. I don't know whether the game sounds are... They should be fine. Although, I can't remember whether I messed with anything since I last streamed. Big engine. Okay, that's not a big engine. <laughs> uh, Kodiak. Nope. Mainsail? Yeah, we'll go the mainsail. Why not? Wait, what's the difference in the mainsail and the skiff? Mainsail is... Rest at sea though. Oh yeah, it's the biggin. It's the biggin. Thanks, Nuki World. <laughs> Thank you for two years. Okay, so somehow that already gives me a thrust to weight ratio of 1.34. Uh, cool. Let's get some boosters on this sucker. Keep using the, um, whatchamacallit, these ones, the twin bore. Maybe I'll go something different, maybe it... 
Maybe we'll go solid boosters this time. Although I do have to get to moon, so maybe not. Maybe I do want to keep the fuel. Ooh. No, maybe we go these solid boosters. How much do these cost? Oh, only 9,000. What could possibly go wrong? Should be fine, right? Let's not put the thrust to weight ratio at 1.61. Yeah, that's, I know that's without the mainsail. I wanted to see if the solid rocket boosters could do all the work at the start. Uh, what's that give me? 1.37... 1.32. So yeah, somewhere around 80%. Rust limit. Be pretty sweet. Thanks for the <laughs> thanks for the prime sub ship. All oh, right, yeah, the center of mass is going to be even lower after I added this stuff to it. I'm going to need to move these way down. Uh, probably, I'm going to guess and say there. How right was I? Oh, I wasn't too far off. I need to come down even further though. Go to there and go to there. But we're going to be using up a bit of the fuel, so that'll be a bit, bit off, but it won't be too bad. It'll be manageable. Especially with the fact that we've got two control, like multiple, uh, Reaction control wheels on the thing. Oh, I'm torn. I really want to use these boosters, but I also... Oh, I know how to use them. I know how to use them. Okay. Uh, let's do something truly stupid. It's no stupid like true stupid. Ah, uh, no, the the satellites do not need RCS, because the satellites are just going to go out there and they'll be effectively mission-paid-for comms satellites. Yeah, no kill like overkill. Exactly. Uh, engines for these. Part of me that wants to use those again, but those are the really loud ones. Uh, let's try... What about the cheaters? No, they're small. Or skiffs on there. What does that give me as a thrust to weight ratio? Not enough. Oh, hang on. If I go for mainsails. <laughs> and then put a skiff in the middle. Because the skiff's got the better vacuum rated. And then, what I was going to do, was asparagus stage this part. Once I get these all at about the same level, just a little bit further. Close. Then we go with... Coupling. Doop. And. <laughs> da, 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 da. Da. That. 
There we go. What could possibly go wrong with this? I haven't built a rocket like this in ages. Probably because it's not very... It's horrendously inefficient. But, you know. So have all my flight profiles been. Whatever goes wrong with it will likely happen at a great deal of speed. You are not wrong. Just pop a couple of struts in. Now for the fuel. You go to you. You go to you. You go to you, and you go to you. Oof, that one's awkward. Let's let's not. That's too ugly. Seriously, can I not get these about even? Sure, whatever. That's close enough. All right, now I have to fix this staging because the staging's going to be so broken. Um, no, Nuki World. I'm just aiming for the moon. I'm just over... I'm way over building this thing. One, because I can. And two... Because I am slightly concerned... About uh, how much drag... Those two satellites are going to create. And so I was like, what the heck? Let's, let's go over the top. And I wanted to use these boosters, but I didn't want to use them as my main boosters, so I'm just like, eh. These are I'm, these this bottom stage is entirely unnecessary and entirely unnecessary and is entirely there because I'm like, yeah, this will be fun. Oh poop. It doesn't have enough thrust. <laughs> the the booster stage don't have enough thrust. Oh wait, I reduced them. Never mind. There we go, 1.22. Perfect. <laughs> Thanks again, Yuki World. Thank you, Capuval. Thank you for 13 months. Lucky number 13. And thanks, Ramones. Uh, Right. Now I have to figure out the staging. Okay, so we've got those five in one stage. Then... They'll pop off all together. And then we ignite these ones. And then... Where am I? Okay, this needs to be separated. Let's just check which way around I've got those. Those two are the second one, so they need to go up there. So we pop those two. Then we pop those two. Then we pop that. Which is then that. Engine. This can just go there, because I don't really need to worry about those, because they'll come after. So... You might notice that this has no capacity for a return trip. So there's no way for these Kerbals to get back to Kerbin. And that's because... My plan is to actually retrieve these Kerbals using a second launch, which completes my mission of transferring crew above the moon. And the second launch, <laughs> but the second part of this mission, which I'll, I'll I think for sake of predictions, uh, is to, I'll, I'll have this as sort of two separate missions that combine together, uh, to make it more interesting. So, this mission, I am attempting to, uh, 
Position a satellite in equatorial orbit of Kerbin. So we got that one. Science data from space around Kerbin. Should be able to do that one. Uh, then orbital station around the moon. And satellite in specific orbit of the moon. Then the next mission will be land on the moon and retrieve the Kerbals. something that made me say I needed two pilots on something. Uh, yeah, this is definitely the Blamo one. Yeah, I thought it said two pilots at the station, but it doesn't say it in the details here. Oh no, it says here, two pilots, okay. So that means I'm going to have to hire a third pilot, I think. Yeah, I'm going to have to hire a third pilot. One way. Okay. Uh, save. Let's set up a prediction to do all of those missions that I just said. So success will be with this station around the moon with um, the satellite in its orbit of the moon and the satellite in orbit of Kerbin. Yeah. Alright. Start that. Let's, uh... Yeah. It's one of the objectives to kill Kerbals in interesting and speedy ways. No! <laughs> I, I haven't killed any Kerbals yet. <laughs> Thanks, Enzo Metrics. Thanks for the Prime Sub. Okay, just... Check once la one last time the satellites. So the Kerbin one just needs... Power, generation capacity, and the moon one needs the mystery goo and science junior. Okay. Wait. Oh. Should go in there. Yep. 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 Okay. I think, uh, yeah, I think we're ready to go to the launch pad. I really worry that this thing's going to tip over. It is very tall by my standards. <laughs> Uh. Yep, there are solar panels on the satellites. There's solar panel on the um, what you call it, the the station. There are batteries on both. Um, and. Yeah. Yeah, only one strut's messed up. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Uh, 
Okay. Three, two, one. Hope Jebediah doesn't die now. Oh yeah. All goes well up to 500 meters. This is holding nice and steady. No, I am not making a gravity turn. No. Because this thing will topple over. I am not making any sort of gravity turn. I am shooting totally inefficiently. Because otherwise the whole thing's going to blow up. Although, looks like these boosters might get me high enough that when I switch to the liquid fuel, I might be able to start some turn. <laughs> uh, perfect. Perfect. Uh, woke you up, did I, Black Shadow? <laughs> Covering those boosters. Alright, Apoapsis is at 72. We've. Get rid of those. very stable, Jeb. Come on, man. More successful launch than I expected. <laughs> Feared. The whole rocket's wobbling a lot. I keep seeing Valentina's collar as a mad grimacing grin. I can so see that. I can so see that. Uh. It's not the strut, it's the... It's this stuff up the top that's making it wobble. It's got nothing to do with the strut. Hmm. Glad I've kept my thrust going, cause this thing may be efficient, but it really doesn't have much oomph. And we're still not in orbit. Destination moon orbit for this a couple of things. One of the satellite is Kerbin orbit though. Okay. So I'll push uh, I think I'll push ourselves I'll push it out to this wide orbit and then detach both of the satellites and make the one that goes to the moon go there under its own steam. Uh, just for the sake of not dealing with that much twist. It's 
still not in orbit. Perhaps this is still at minus 40. And perhaps this is up to 20 kilometers. Fifty. We finally have stable orbit. There we go. <laughs> All right. I probably just keep burning prograde for now. As I said, I'll push us out to this higher orbit, detach the satellite, complete that mission. Ooh! Uh, duct materials study. Does that count as... If I transmit this, even though it's 0% science, does, will that complete the mission? Let's try. Yeah, it did. All right. One mission parameter complete. Where are we at? Still burning. Yep, my satellites both have control modules. They've got the Prodoba Dino KTOs. Six point eight million, and that's six point five million. Okay, it's pretty pretty circular. The so next mission is the Equatorial Orbit one. This is all going to plan. <laughs> Unnecessarily expensive launch, but it's all going to plan. I am curious how much extra fuel I'll have left over once we get to the moon. Because it'd be nice if we have a bit of extra, since if I do the crew transfer... I don't know whether I'm meant to do it while docked or not docked. I don't think it matters. But if I do the crew transfer, I can also transfer the excess fuel from this into my uh, moon lander after landing on the moon to get the moon science for the next mission. Next half of this mission. <laughs> yeah, Apocalypse, it's... I'm finding it quite fun pushing my skills by doing as many missions as possible on each launch. The more missions, the better. Because uh, we've been having way too much success recently. And I would like to see whether I do reach a failure point. Because <laughs> uh, we've got to get this wrong at some point, surely. And I do know, I do know that the point where things are probably going to go wrong is once I leave Kerbin's system. Once I'm heading off towards Juno. Right, let's warp out to the end point. Add maneuver node. See how long I'm going to burn for. Spin it around to there. That'll do. So that's 
Oh, minute 24 of burn. If things are going well, initiate the capac protocol. No. Actually, he's he's pretty good at doing stuff in KSP. I don't know what went wrong with him and Rockets in the co-op space program series we did. Uh, but he sure showed he knew what he was doing when he with his planes. Except for putting canards over the door. But I feel like anyone can make that mistake. Uh, actually, Hellfish, I disagree with some of that. One of the best things you can do to increase success chance is looking into how some of it was done or proposed to be done in real life. Not true, necessarily. Um, doing a moon landing in the Apollo style has so many more failure points that, yes, it requires less fuel and that side of things is good, but because we can just do more boosters in KSP... It's actually a much harder way of doing a successful moon landing. Much harder. Something like this will do. Three, two, one, burn. But yeah, I, I think understanding the, the mechanics of why they chose certain orbital approaches certainly can help you understand how to do things. But, like, I don't have any background in astronomy. Almost jokingly said astrology there, just to mess with people. Uh, so my learning of all that stuff has come about from trying to figure out how to get to places in KSP in the past. But it kind of means that I, I I have fun of it. I have fun with it. Um, approaching it in the game style of things more than bringing out uh, a spreadsheet, which I have done in the past when I was learning this, but I kind of prefer to just do a bit of trial and error since you can. Okay, we are at the location, which means we can deploy the satellites. Hooray! Satellite mission complete. Probably should have transferred its fuel back because it doesn't need it. But, oh well. Yeah, Tommaso, I'm aware there is a bachelor's degree in space engineering and it's actually from a university that is about... 60 kilometers from me or at least one of the universities that offers it um, now I said I wasn't going to do this but I'm going to do this I'm going to get into orbit of the moon with the wonky one sided satellite attached what's going on here No. <sighs> Clicked on the wrong button. Everything's too small. No, I deliberately circularized the whole thing. 
It's not, uh, it's not particularly fuel efficient, but it was a lot easier. Do, 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 do. Because it meant that I didn't have to fly wonky for as far. And I've got so much extra fuel that it's fine. <laughs> hey, Dham. Um, yes, University of New South Wales. That is correct, Tommaso. Um, the KSP dev team retweeted someone's picture of their bachelors from there. I've often wondered if I should go back to uni and do an engineering degree. It's clearly where a lot of my interest lies. <laughs> Tex, I'm honestly surprised you didn't enter the chat with some comment about lunacy, given what I wrote as the stream title. Are we mad enough? Not enough cheese. <sighs> yep. And if we were going to Minmus, it'd be not enough mint. I wonder if they'll stick with the same single, like, the way the gravity works in KSP for KSP2. I imagine they probably will. As in, you only really have to deal with the gravitational influence of a single thing around you. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. That's what I want to do. Oh well. We're on the path now. Yeah, the single body physics thing. Yeah, I hope you had a good one too, Tex. That's this nice and close-ish. That'll do. Off we go. Yeah, I've got more. I've got more um, Christmas family stuff on today, actually. So after this stream, I'll be. Ooh, actually, that's a reminder. Uh, in about an hour, I need to go start reheating the Christmas pudding for today that I made. What? What, what, what? Oh, the game can't decide what's happening to my orbit. That's annoying. Hit it when it does that. Do, do, do get this close-ish to the satellite's position. Oh, actually, no. Uh, let's not do that. Let's cancel that. I'll leave the station in an equatorial orbit, and I'll shift. I'll shift the satellite upwards using its own thrust. I think it's the better way to go. Uh, 
Um, so Tex, I the pudding that I made is a. So I think I don't know if this is correct, but I think a traditional Christmas pudding uh, from the UK is dried fruit and sweet and made with brandy. Um, as this one is. The cakey part of it is still made out of bread, though. I made these back in August, I think I've, I made them. I made one for Christmas Day and one for... So, because my... Oh, no, that's not what I meant to hit. Why did I hit that? I hit the wrong key. Oops. Uh-oh, what have I done? <laughs> I need to set that up again. Uh, so my family kind of do two Christmas Day things. We do one on Christmas Day and one on the 27th because then we... People who spend time... So my siblings alternate which year they spend with their partner's family and my family. It's similar to a fruitcake, but it's not... It's not a fruitcake, but it is similar. The flavour is quite different to a fruitcake. I th like... Or at least, I've never tasted a fruitcake that tastes like this. Okay. Successfully into Muna orbit, which should get us our station successful mission. No, it is not a trifle. And uh, now, I just need to do the unmanned probe bit and get this satellite into its orbit. Decouple. So, at about there, need to go up a lot. That'll be about right. No, though oh, that's <laughs> that is a an interesting orbital path to have to fix. Oh, we'll deal with that. <laughs> It'll be fine. Totally be fine. Forty second burn. Oh dear. Do I have enough fuel for a forty second burn? <gasps> Am I going to fail this part? Oh no. No, no. I'm not sure I have enough fuel for a 40 second burn. And there's no way I can reattach this now. I've, I've done it. Dang it. I should have pushed... Should have pushed it into place with the big rocket. Oh, I might be all right. Maybe. Yes, I hope to get Kapak into Station Ears for some fun at some point. Uh, don't know when that's going to happen, though. Probably not until we stop doing grounded. Oh no, I've got plenty of fuel. I'm fine. Got heaps of fuel. 
Also, why can't I get rid of my node? There we go. Almost there. That will probably do it. That'll probably achieve the mission. Uh, Victorus, Kabak and I haven't talked about going back to Euro Truck recently, but I am. I have been trying to get him in trying to figure out a way to get the two of us to do something fun in farming sim and I was recently told in a comment that apparently some of the uh, snow runner style stuff like getting stuck and having chains to tow people out is a mod you can get for farming sim which makes me think huh snow runner but with actually good net code maybe that could be fun maybe Ugh, SnowRunner was such a frustrating game. <laughs> the net code in that thing is abysmal. Uh, actually, Glitch, I would say that SnowRunner single player is more fun than SnowRunner multiplayer. Because SnowRunner multiplayer is just single player with more problems. As in more bugs. There we go. Successful. Maintain stability. Yes. Yes. Okay. Done. 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 Yay! Success! Alright, uh, now I have to go pick them up with a fresh pilot. Choose prediction outcome. So 47% of points were towards yes, you've got this. 49 were nope, you'll just miss. And only 4% thought I'd go explode it. But I got this. Alright, the next mission's going to be a bit more interesting, though. <laughs> Space Center. Uh, not really, Tex. Not really. Not at the moment, anyway. Uh, okay. Now, can I stack any additional missions on these two? So... Land on the moon and transfer crew from the other capsule into the exit. Oh no, how many crew did I put on board that thing? I put three on, didn't I? Ah, why? Why do I do this to myself? Oh, I'm not there. Okay, this makes it a bit more interesting. I have to bring four. Because I want to. I want to use a piloted craft because I want to land on the moon. I don't want to use a... I don't want to use something with a probe core. So I need something that can return to Kerbin with four Kerbals on board. Fun, fun, fun. Uh, uh, okay. Attach a new part to a satellite in orbit of Kerbin. No. <laughs> Repair a satellite in orbit of... Oh, wait. 
Wait a second. If <laughs> Let's add this one. Let's add this one because it's going to make it silly. Um, so the mission I just accepted is to repair a satellite in orbit of the moon. Now, to do that, I think I've got the engineer. I think my engineer is on board the existing... Uh, is on board the existing Mooner station. So I have to send up a rocket that has the capacity to bring all three of those crew back, but it's going to land on the moon, get the surface data, then it's going to fly off the moon and meet up with the station, grab the crew, and having brought all the way from Kerbin the required parts for repairs, it's going to then rendezvous with this satellite in orbit of the moon before returning home. Thanks, Broke. Thanks for the Prime sub. And now, what else can we do? Deployed mystery goo. Can a pilot deploy mystery goo? Or do I need a scientist for that? Uh. Do that. I could bring another satellite with me. That's not that hard. Bring another satellite. We'll make this one tiny though. Okay. Alright. Let's do this. That's worth a lot of money. I mean, I've got a lot of money, but I need... There are still more upgrades on the KSC I need to do. Wait. Collect 50% of the surface deployed mystery goo observation science on the moon. Are there multiple locations I'm supposed to do that? Because if so, I don't know that I want to do that one. I might leave that one. Because I'm not sure exactly what that's defined as. Going to upgrade my R&D facility. That's fully upgraded. That's fully upgraded. That's fully upgraded. I would like to also upgrade you. Now we need to hire some Kerbals. Uh, Barfat, Sarig, Patrod, Oldbus. Oh, Patrod seems to be the way to go. All that courage and plenty of stupidity. Oh, no, Barthat. Barthat. Less stupid, still courageous. There we go. just a ground experiment. Alright, fine. I'll give it a go. Uh, fine. Fine, fine. Okay. So, missions to complete on this launch. Oh my gosh. Transfer crew. Satellite in orbit of the moon. Science data from the surface of the moon. Repair a satellite in orbit of the moon. And gather surface deployed mystery goo observation science from the surface of the moon. And I need a five crew return module. 
Well, minimum of four, but I might go five. So I kind of need to do that, I think is the most efficient option I've got. Let me see if I understood. You're going to deploy a bus to pick up the engineers in the row on the road and drop them at a satellite garage and bring them back home after a long year of work. Something like that, yeah. Alright, this is very much going to need to have a heat shield. Yeah, I don't have that Shadow Wolf and I don't have enough science for it. So, this can't do This is how I've got to do it. Uh. Okay. Uh, utility. Need much parachute. That's right, those are the fireworks. I messed with the fireworks much. Yeah, something like that looks alright. Uh, just because I seem to sometimes get myself in a bit of a spot of bother with this. I'm going to put a couple of solar panels on here. Alright, so this is my return vehicle. Hopefully that's enough to keep five Kerbals surviving through my let's say creative re-entry trajectories? Oops, that's not what I meant. Click. Then we'll go a payload module. Yeah, I might do some pond skipping over the atmosphere <laughs> again, like I did last time. Uh, I want some RCS in this. Oh, that's a much bigger tank. I don't want that. I think I'll just go two of these. And some extra electrical power. Not if you died from the surface of the moon. Now, I could try and bring proper science. I probably should, shouldn't I? So if I'm going to make the effort of landing on the moon. I should probably make it so that I can land and recover something valuable. Like if I put those in. Oh. I kind of want to be able to eject with all this mass. Maybe I'll get rid of some of the RCS and I'll put this in. In the middle. Three goo or two thermometers and some barometers. And just in case. That should be everything I need in there. Then I can do... Just 
fuel... How do I want to do my fuel for my lander? I want to do... So last time I had a tank down here and then a bunch of little rockets, which could have gone better had I not had a focus, like, window focus control issue and almost smacked into the moon. Uh, I could go that way again. Or I could try, and I could try having some extra fuel tanks slapped on the side. Which I'm tempted to do. This does make a very tall moon lander. Shuttle style return vehicle. Oh, I don't. Uh, I don't think I've got enough. I haven't done enough air, like atmospheric parts. So I haven't done. I haven't unlocked any of the space plane parts. So I don't think that's really an option. I think I'll go the poodle this time. But what I'm also going to do is. Uh, we're going to grab some TT-38Ks. And we're going to have some extra fuel on them. Yeah. Yeah, why not? Possible make a rocket where the additional passenger space is docked to the bottom. Uh, yes, but would be I. I don't know how well clampertrons work with uh, re-entry forces. I don't think they particularly like it. I don't think they do particularly well with that. Shielded docking ports are fine, but they don't... Like, that's not for... When it's closed. I'm talking about when they're actually clamped onto another docking port. I don't think they hold very well. But I could be wrong. After all, the whole reason I'm... Decided to play KSP now is that I wanted to be less hopeless at KSP by the time KSP 2 comes out. I think that's being achieved. I think I'm getting better. Uh, asparagus my lander somewhat similar Okay, so we got those two, which are the first. So it goes that order. Those two, then those two, then those two. Perfect. How big of a station would I build? Uh, I'm hoping I'm hoping we can have fun with this until I get to that point, or that KSP two comes out, whichever one happens first. Uh, okay, so one of the things I need to remember is to put some stuff in the inventory cargo. Uh, I 
Okay. So we need... Oh no! We need... Oh, to run the science thing, we need... Where is it? Where's the goo? Go ob? Is that it? I have to remember to put all these parts in. EVA repair kits. Control station. Thank you. It's been a long time since I've done deployed science. The Stampotron ground anchor provides a secure point to which you can attach other parts with EVA construction, including docking ports, if you'd like to park a larger vessel safely. Ah, good. Less explosions. That would be nice. Uh, so I've got the repair kits for the satellite. I've got the photovoltaic panels, the control module, and the goo thing. Is there anything else I need to run this thing? Don't think so. I took an extra solar panel as well now. That was a good call. Also, crew-wise, I'm... Not going to bring Kargan? No, I'm not going to bring Bob. Hold up. Hang on, hang on. I need to check who I've got up there. I've, I can't remember whether I've got a, a um, <laughs> an engineer or a... I probably don't need to click fly. There was a button down the bottom right that looked like it could have told me who's aboard. So we got Jeb, Bill, and Valentina. So I've got an engineer. Okay. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. So I want to bring Bob, not an engineer. No, it's got both techs. Science and economy. It's economy on regular. I just left it at the defaults. Alright, crew. So we don't need an engineer. I need the scientist. Because we'll pick up the engineer before we do the satellite repair mission. The scientist... The scientist should be able to... Wait. Can the scientist set up the deployed science? Or does an engineer have to do that? Okay. So this is, this is the right crew. So I don't have to put a core on it. And then I pick up an engineer once we're in orbit of the moon, and then that engineer is able to do the repairs. Cool. Goes down there. Let's go in there. Alright. That staging is now correct. Next thing we need is a little satellite. Oh. 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 Uh. No. I have not yet done all the things that need to be done. This needs to happen. 
That is not low enough. Uh, let's move these a little bit lower then. Maybe a little bit lower still. Yeah. Because that gives me a, ni a really nice wide platform. Yes, it means I'll probably have to land with some empty ones, but I can drop them before I have to take off again, so at least I save that mass. Uh, right. What else was I forgetting? Something else I was forgetting. Dang it. What was that? Ah, uh, what was I, I? There was, there was something before I put the landing legs on that I was. Oh, that's right, that's right. I need RCS because I've got to dock this thing. I know I've got RCS on the other side, so I could use the other side to dock to this, but I think having it on both sides would probably be a good idea. I put RCS fuel in, uh, but I didn't actually put any RCS thrusters on. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. So we can close those. We can look at center of mass. Sure. Okay, that'll maybe work ish a uh, likely explosion I entirely disagree with you on that <laughs> docking without RCS is an absolute nightmare getting within range of something without RCS is easy but actually docking when you've only got a single direction of thrust no thank you Uh, Alright, so the next thing I was going to do was pop a couple of little decouplers on here. And now I'm going to build a tiny little satellite off the side. And I'm going to build two of them. Not because I need to, but because it'll be balanced. Oh, wait, I need to put fuel on first so I've got something to attach to. Uh, I'm going to build two of them, and I'll one of them will just be yet another relay satellite out there, which is handy. Never hurts to have more relay satellites until one of them runs into me. What do I need on this one? I think it's just a temperature probe. Yeah, thermometer. go with power, then we go with this power, nope, that is not where I want, what have I done? How did I put the, interesting, Reaction control, not reaction control, the, the reaction wheel, that was the word I was looking for. Reaction wheel and then a thruster. Put a weenie little spark on here.
Constipation. Yeah, it'll be fine. I'm going to leave it lopsided. I got a baby nose cone. I don't think I've got a baby nose cone. Manage your rocket nose. Ah, I do. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, so that should be everything that's needed for that satellite to function. You say satellite, I say ship killer in development. Yes, sure. Uh, <laughs> possibly. Why is this one missing a single solar panel? Odd. Oh, whatever. Okay, so we've got now stuff to transfer the crew. We've got a satellite with a thermometer. We've got stuff that we can get science data from the surface with. Minimus missions later. If we've got enough fuel, I'll do this one, but I'm not. This is an optional mission extra. I am not considering going to Minmus as a core part of the mission. Um, engineer on the active vessel, repair Communitron. Yep, we can do that because we've got the repair parts. And deploy Mystery Goo Observations. Yes, we've got that as well. All right, now i just got to build a big old rocket bottom to put this on. And that means we need coupling. Well, I know that what I just did before works. So I could just bring that rocket. Hang on, can I just do that? Save, open. Oh no, that's not what I meant to do. There. Uh, way too big. Oh, whoops. I took the decoupler. What could possibly go wrong with this? Uh, Red Small Hat, the recovery of boosters is very difficult to do without mods. Uh, because you can only control one craft at a time, so recovering the boosters is nigh on him. Well, it's very difficult. It's not impossible, it's very difficult. Um, and it's not a lot of money. You do get some money back from recovering parts, but it's not enough money to be, really be worth it. Unless you're playing on very painful difficulties. <laughs> Thanks, Tex. See you, mate. Uh, return trip one. Save. Okay, we need to start a prediction. See whether I can do this mission successfully. Mission parameters. Fly this thing to the moon. Land on the moon. Deploy the mystery goo thing to get science data from the surface of the moon. 
get some other science data while I'm there, because why not? Um, on the way to doing that, deploy a satellite in equatorial or orbit of the moon. Um, once landed, we then go back up to orbit, rendezvous with the other, with the station that's in orbit of the moon, grab the crew from it, completing this mission, then we go and repair a satellite in orbit of it, finally to return home with five Kerbals inside what will hopefully be a survivable re-entry module. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, that's the mission. That's uh, the mission. Bro, I thought that might have changed. Let's just check the cargo again. Cargo looks good. Crew is good, cargo is good, let's check all of the staging. Because the staging has been balked. Okay. Uh, that's really annoying. First off, let's get that out of there, because that is not meant to be in that stage. That is way up here. Oh, the staging is really broken. Oh boy. Alright. Let's just start from the bottom. That and those. Yes. Next we have... That. That. Those. And those. So that's... Detach the... Solid boosters and start all those engines. Next up... We have... Those two. Then next up we have... Those two. Those two, yep. Then those two for this barrack staging for that bit. Then we pop that. Get that engine. Then, those two, yes, those two, yes, those two, yes. <laughs> it's getting silly. And uh, those. Can go on there, fine. Then that pops off. Drogue shoots and then regular shoots. Cool. Holy moly. Ten stages. Brilliant. Have I stuffed any of them up? I don't know. Let's launch anyway. Do I have enough thrust? Just. 1.2. Perfect. Ah, the docking port is a nose cone, it'll be fine. The, <laughs> the six radial tanks, I think, are going to be more of a problem than the nose cone for aerodynamics. Uh, as well as the two side-mounted satellites. Uh... Let's go. Hey Spectre, same to you. Uh, that, there we go. And... Three, two, one, launch. Oof, that feels slow. Yes, hopefully the, the extra large booster thing that I've got here will be make this be fine. It'll be fine.
Oh. Okay, let's recenter my camera view. Because it's a bit wonky. Well, we've made it to 10Ks on the solid rocket boosters, so I'm happy with that. Yep, Bob and Barthat both look untroubled. Man, that's explosive when you switch over to the liquid engines. <laughs> It's a little bit of a jolt. <laughs> it's nothing to worry about at all. It'll be fine. Yep, power sliding into orbit as usual. Always. Always when I've got a big rocket like this. That's uh, got questionable aerodynamics. Because pushing sideways tends to lead to flipping. Let's check out where I can do my secularizing. Burn time 3 minutes 36. Okay, let's just keep on burning. Is that how I got to Flipsy? No, Flipsy came because of Space Engineers. Um, <laughs> but may as well fits this too. Thanks, Eggplant! Thanks for the subscription. Alright, so, first mission part that I need to think about is... It's just getting to the... to Moon Orbit, isn't it? Okay, well, that's easy. Easy enough. <laughs> yep, stage one, calm. Stage two, blammo! Stage three, calm. As it should be. Probably. This engine is so quiet. I thought you still got... Rocket sounds from... Uh, engines in space. Maybe I'm mistaken. Stage 4 impact. Oh, I hope there's no stage 4 impact. That's not good. <laughs> um, actually, stage... The next stage could be impact of this stage into the moon if I've got enough fuel left to go that far. Because that's going to be the fun part. I didn't check that I've got enough thrust to land on the moon. Huh. I'm sure it'll be fine. 
totally be fine. <laughs> I should do, because I've got a thrust away ratio of 0.66 on Kerbin. So I'll be fine. I'll be fine. It'll be okay. In indeed, KB. <laughs> Thrust is only required for safe landings on the moon. Uh, Alright, what's what are the predictions you guys are at? Oh, not quite as much confidence in my success this time. Up to 12% on Blamo. Though, by people, 20 people think I've got this. 7 think nope, I'll just miss. And 5 think Blamo. Or are just doing it for the fun of it. And we are in orbit. In a eccentric orbit, but it's fine. Do, 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 do. Right, that'll do. No doubt, Splitzy, you got this, and if not, I'll still be laughing. Yeah, that's that's kind of the joys of doing stuff like this on stream. Even if it all goes wrong, I'm still happy because everybody got to see it all go wrong. <laughs> Which is perfect. There's always... I every cloud has a silver lining when you're streaming or recording and things go horribly wrong uh, in terms of explosions. If they go horribly wrong in terms of bugs, that's that's not fun. But everything else is fun. You haven't seen eccentric yet. Well, not since Litzy's last face cam screen <laughs> stream. Oh. Uh, yep. Trying to explain that one to uh, my brother when I was showing that I'd actually made use of his his Elmo costume. I've been trying to think think through the logistics of how I might utilize that for a charity stream while Capac and I are traveling to PAX next year? Haven't quite worked out how I would do that. Because the head is really big. Plan for a good result, laugh with the rest of us when everything goes sideways. Indeed. For every silver lining, there is a dark storm cloud. Eh. Yeah. Uh, likely explosion. I'm just going to ignore you while you're being real bossy. Um. Oh yeah, I should go put my pudding in the oven. I will do that shortly. Thank you for the reminder. Uh in the car and whoever's in the back have the Elmo. I don't think it'd be safe to be in a car with the Elmo head on. Um That would be a very bad thing to have on your head during a car accident. It would not do nice things to your neck. Also, I don't think you could fit. Like, my head's only, you know, a couple of centimetres from the roof anyway. Um, whereas the Elmo head is double my head height. Galadas, you've seen me play games. You know I plan on crashing. <laughs> you've always got to plan around crashing. It's the only way to survive. <laughs> Hey, Perkle. 
Um, yeah. <laughs> it's important to think this way. Get a van. Oh, man. I don't know if it was just the van that I... The vans that I've driven, but... I... I don't know how people sit... Even remotely comfortably in a van. Driving. My feet... Like, my, my knees... Just... My legs... Just... All horrible. Convertible would fix the headroom issue. It would fix the headroom issue. It would... <laughs> Create a whole lot of other issues, uh, but it would fix the headroom issue. You are correct. Um, I am picturing what happened to my hat on the boat, uh, on one of the, uh, on the like little cruise thing I went on in New Zealand, uh, where I very much lost my hat as I was taking a photo, and my camera just bumped my hat just a bit too high, and then whew, gone. I can imagine the fear of someone behind us as an Elmo head comes flying at their windscreen. That is not the last sight you want to see. <laughs> <coughs> that would be something else. Bring it down to about a million. Yeah, some of that'll do. Alrighty. Uh, yes. I mean, so the, the logistics of the Elmo suit that I can't figure out are, one, the size of the thing is really difficult to move about. But two, if, say, Kapak and I were doing another stream in a park, like we did, do I keep the Elmo head just out of shot? Or do I go leave it in the car, and once the goals are reached for the Elmo head to be worn, go and collect it then? Because, to my mind, half the fun of having the Elmo head as a goal is that once it's worn, it's the ridiculousness of having it on show. Okay. Let's keep this out wide, because that equatorial orbit is opposite to mine. Delightful. Just make sure to not have children nearby, you might scare them. Ah, they'll be fine. <laughs> Elmo head in a park, that's grounds for arrest, surely. Uh Nah. Nope, I'm not turning on advanced tweakables. I don't know what to do with them. I don't want to learn it. Um, not at the moment, anyway. I think I've got them on, anyway. I just... Yeah. No plans to. I like eyeballing this stuff. I like doing it by hand. I like doing it manually. So I don't... That's why I don't do a lot of the automated... Have any of the automation type mods. Half the fun, to me, in KSB is controlling a rocket by hand. Oops, too far. It'll be fine. Like, I, I genuinely enjoy the... Setting up the time... Like, trying to figure out the times and trying to make sure I do things right. And like, if, we're, if we're running the... While I'm running the predictions on this stuff, I think it also... 
adds an extra element of uncertainty if I am doing everything manually. Oh, we're going to just a bit further. Okay. So. What should I do here? I think... Rather than making the satellite get itself into that orbit, I might... Do it with the whole shebang. Because I've got a heap of extra fuel, like, I think more than I need to even get this thing to land. would it be to get this thing to flip the whole way over? Just, just doing a complete opposite burn. How hard's that? 1 minute 48. You know what? Let's do it. It's only a minute 32 of burn. I'll be fine. Do. Probably could did have enough fuel on the satellites to do this, but as I said, I've got so much fuel on this thing. I just have to make sure I take off in the correct direction to meet up with the one way down so I don't have to do this again. Two degrees off from it. Not bad. Not bad at all. Two degrees might be enough that I need to correct it just a little bit. Oh wait, what am I doing? Wrong side. Do a little correction burn as I go through that bit, which will take no thrust whatsoever. Uh, I'll probably do a lot of the deceleration for landing with the transfer stage, yes. Yeah, I thought, I think something I probably should have uh, looked into before we did that stream in the park was whether there were any permits or things I'm supposed to, we're supposed to get for filming in locations like that. Um, and we'll definitely look into next time. Because I probably should have looked into that.
Dang it. Zero degrees, that's fine. And that'll be close enough. Yeah, I guess I, <laughs> I could I could launch I could launch the satellites off the side uh, at this point. They've definitely got enough fuel, but I'm like, I may as well just get there. I find in um, in the past what I've had happen when I've had an extra transfer stage like this that's whoops too far uh, that's got a bit of extra fuel on board um, and I'm trying to use it to do my deceleration towards the surface I often stuff up the ejection of it Let's pop you off Hooray! Contract complete! And I'll pop the other one off at a different orbit. Um, just so that they're not doubling down. Although I've probably got a fair bit of commerce coverage on the moon at this stage. Uh, but yeah, what I've often found is as I'm, as I'm coming down to the surface and using this part to slow myself down... The thing that I constantly stuff up is this will run out of fuel and instead of separating it and then controlling my thrust, I've usually got my thrust at full or something or this will almost be out and I'll eject it before it's completely out of fuel and then it ends up pushing and flipping my whole rocket off while it's detached and it gets all very messy. I've done that a few too many times. <laughs> it's just... Oh. Yeah, if I've still got extra fuel in it by the time I'm getting close to the ground and I have to detach it so that I can land safely. It has gone very wrong very many times. Yep, nothing like decoupling the top part smashes into the bottom part that just got jettisoned. Exactly. Have I landed in that? I haven't landed down there. That's a different crater, right? Surely. What to do? Thank you. Did I leave flags on where I landed before? Maybe not all of them. I don't remember. Does anyone remember? Alright, we'll do that bit of a burn. Then... Eject the satellite. And then we'll fix the rest of the burn so that I hopefully land middle of that. Maybe about there will do. Ah. 
we go. And I can move them into better orbits later if I need to. I don't think I'm going to need to. I think they'll be fine as they are. some reason they have flags coming out the wazoo on those things. It's true. Yeah, I... The... The more transmitters thing does help. I was just being lazy with these satellites. I was like, yeah, there's more of them than there would be if I hadn't brought a second one along, so at least it's something. Uh... I don't think I have put down any care stationary satellites. I don't think I've had any missions for them. All right, here we go. At least I'm going to burn this stage out completely, so that's something that prevents one of my usual mistakes. How's that feel going? And down to 40, 30, 20, 10, and out. Here we go. Oh, don't aim me there. Uh, let's, nope, not that way, that way. Push me a bit off from that. That crater doesn't look friendly. At all. <laughs> no, it would be bad. Uh, that should be okay, I think. Yep. Alright, time for a manual landing. I'm going to use much excess of fuel for this, but that is fine. Get my retrograde marker right on the pole. Okay. It's pretty close. This is definitely easier when you've got a pilot who can actually just hold it retrograde for you. Yeah, I'd rather I'd rather use an excess of fuel than lose a Kerbal. Especially especially since I know I've got that extra fuel supply waiting for me up in orbit. So I can refuel. Morning, Scythe. It's 
So if you'd be pleased to know that one of my nephews has now started getting deep into 40k. How about using an excess of fuel to lose a Kerbal? I think that's what happened to Stephanie with Kabak and I. At Christmas, my nephew was shouting rip and tear as he opened presents. Wow, can I do that's, um, that's something. Trying not to let my surface speed get too high. I'm trying not to waste too much fuel. Let's slow it down to 50 now. Nine hundred meters to go. Six hundred and fifty meters to go. It's not too slopey here, so that's something. As long as he's not screaming, purify the heretics while setting fire. Yes! Don't think we need anyone screaming that at Christmas time. That would be uh, <laughs> uncomfortable, I think, in most settings. And touchdown. A little wobbly on the landing, but I think she's stuck it, maybe. I'm sliding. Why am I sliding? I don't like the sliding. Stop sliding! <laughs> Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> um. <clears throat> hmm. Yeah, my gear might not have might be sitting low enough. What if I there we go. Nope, I started sliding after the time warp. Dang it! How far am I going to slide? I can't... <laughs> I don't want to get away. I don't want to get out of the thing while it's sliding down the hill. Uh... Oh, man... I guess I can do these bits anyway.
Alright, Bob. It's totally not moving. That's just your perception of it. It's fine. This is not going to go horribly wrong when you jump off in a second. Get in there. There you go. <laughs> I'm trying to just make sure he stays on board. Uh oh. Oops. <laughs> I think I hit his head. Hooray! Okay. Now let's lock. Oh wait, I want to grab this one, I think. So how do I go about changing the gear they're holding? Do I have to do that when they're on EVA? So we will... How do I drop the parachute? Can I just do that? Uh... Oh. Poop. I can't carry the ox stat while carrying my thruster pack. Who big? Hmm. That's a problem. Because if he lets go, he can't get back on board. Yeah, that's what I was about to check. Can you fit two jetpacks? No, you can't fit two jetpacks either. I didn't even, like, no part of me thought that this was going to be a problem. Uh... Use RCS to lay the rocket on its side. What do I do? Because you can't you can't toss these apart aside, can you? Like, can I throw one of these out? Yeah, let's... Okay, let's try. Um, let go. I've got to 
I've got the rocket booster on, so can I do a transfer while jumping? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Probably can. If I do a quick... Like if I have it ready and then I jump. Yeah, we could do that. Uh-oh. Okay. I think this is doable. It's not going to be pretty, but it's doable. Also, I really wish we weren't in these big rocks right now. You're welcome, Johnny. Yeah, Dallasena, I'm attempting to figure out how to get the experiments on the surface while uh, within the limitations of what the Kerbals can carry, which is very minimal. I'm just going to wait till this has, this has slid through those before I try and grab the bits. So I cannot see what's going on. This has got to be one of the most kerbalized solutions to a problem like this. Oh, uh, time warp didn't even stop the drift. If, if save would stop it, I would have thought time would stop it. Okay, so first up, we'll swap this out for that. go a little bit ahead it's gonna catch up to me anyway Whoa. wait where'd my other ox snap go I think it got deleted. That's annoying. My other solar panels. Okay, that's not the way around I wanted that. Or does it rotate? It rotates. Fine. do any of this surface science stuff. Yeah, it does look, look like it stopped. Maybe, it, did it stop when I put the control module down? How do I connect these up to the power? Power units required one. What do I do with that? So where's my other... Did my other one get deleted or something? Is that's what, what's happened? Because... I had brought two panels, but it's gone. Where did it go?
No, no, I didn't leave it on Kerbal. I definitely had it. I pulled one out, and it, it's been... It's been deleted between here and the flag. Because I placed the flag first, and now it's gone. That's a bit broken. Oh. I deliberately didn't bring an engineer because there's an engineer on my station that I'm picking up. So I've just got a scientist and a pilot. Yeah, I don't know that there's any options to find it, and it's, like... I reckon it's bugged out and deleted it. I think that's what's happened. I'm just trying to clip my camera through the rocks that we slid through to see if it has ended up under one of them. Yeah, it was the piece. I, it was one of the pieces I was swapping while jumping. Yeah, that's why I think the game's bugged and deleted it. I may need to cheat in a replacement. Is that a thing I can do? Yes, good news, it's still sliding. It is indeed still sliding. Uh... Is there a thing I can... Can I get myself one this way? Tori. Nope, that's create a Kerbal. Uh, don't think any of this helps me. Oh, I don't know if I can magic one back. Does anyone has anyone used this to try and get any of this sort of stuff before? Only way you can do it is to modify the save file. Uh, okay, so this is <laughs> I <I've, laughs> I think because this is a game bug. What I'm going to do is I'm going to launch a secondary rocket to try and bring me the part that I need. And not count that as a mission fail, because that's not a mission fail, that's a game bug. Uh, but first, we need to pop that in there. So now I have the joys of trying to get something to land nearby enough that I can go grab it with Bob. <laughs> Uh, which I think will be fun. Odd. Two land can, one, two pod. All right. Space Center. At least you now know to put the cargo container at the bottom. Yes, I do know that. That is a very good point. <laughs> I must remember to do that. All right. 
Uh, new. Delivery. Okay. Uh, Prodobodine OKTO. Then. Cargo. Let's just bring all of them, in case I delete some more. <laughs> Alright. Uh, power. That needs to go at the bottom, as we were just talking about. And then we want... Solar panels, fuel, landing legs going to look on this. Yeah, this will be fine. <laughs> Uh, let's just check if the little spark has enough thrust for this. Uh, Delta V for the moon. And we have a thrust away ratio of 10.68. I think I'm going to be okay with that. I have not put a reaction control wheel on this. Reaction wheel. You know what I meant. There we go. Oh, not a bad idea. Hang on. Yeah, maybe I should have two of them and put a um, put an extra, like leave a spot empty or put an extra jetpack in it. Yep, this is to fix the glitch test. <laughs> Just bring extras of all that stuff. That'll be fine. There we go. Still we'll have plenty of thrust. Okay, next up we just need a way to get this to the moon. Big. They're actually a back separator for this size that I have unlocked. Doesn't look like it. PD06. Yeah, I don't have the 06. Oh, there it is. There we go. Uh, then. Let's go with some aerodynamics. Nope. Payload. It's wider than I need to go.
means we can get rid of that. It's like it's going to be quite top heavy. Not sure I'm a fan of this. Um, let's take that off. Those out. Put that back there. I might do that instead. Let's just check what's on board each of them, which is... This one's empty. I think that'll be, I think this will be a lot better. This will work. So I got batteries, I got solar panels, I got transmitters, I've got my storage container thingamajiggies, I've got landing legs, I've got a thruster. Now, put that on. Put some big fuel tanks in. Hello, Charlie. Transfer stage? Probably. Just add a few extra solar panels because I do have a tendency to run out of power when I'm moving the big rocket bits around. with that then what I'm gonna do is actually I wonder if this will work uh... would this be enough to get us to the moon <laughs> I wonder Yeah, that's correct, Anthony. That's exactly what that um, that thing is. That channel point reward. <coughs> yeah, it's probably enough, isn't it? What other way can I make this stupid? I know. I know how we can do something that's going to be different. Let's add some extra fuel tanks. Let's add them that way. Meant to press alt then, didn't. I don't know why I'm doing this. I think I'm just doing it because I don't like doing the same rocket design every single time. Perfect. Okay, so let's start off with thrust limiting this. This will set up stage one. Probably around 63-ish. Yeah, 62.5. Perfect. 
Thrust weight ratio of 1.24. So that's stage one. Stage two will be those go. Stage three is these go. Then pop that, pop that. Okay. All right, delivery is a go. Ah, uh, no, I fixed my thrust away, thrust away ratio, although it did just change to 1.11. Why did it do that? Go with 72. 72 sounds like a decent number. Oh, I've done a very silly rocket in the distant past where I launched a rover. There was an enormous rover and I just kind of strutted it between like two utterly enormous rockets to try and get it to space without having it inside any sort of payload because it was before fairings existed. Um, and this thing had horrendous aerodynamics. It was after the proper aerodynamics and before the nose cones. Oh no, it was back when there was simple aerodynamics, I think. When you still had to get the plane parts mod. Thanks, Justin Mechanic. Thank you for just over two years. Are we taking bets on missing torque wheel RCS thrusters? There's no RCS required for this. This is just my wonky rocket that looks like a very tall, skinny person in a dress. And launch. <laughs> I knew some people wouldn't be able to unsee that. That's why I said it. Yeah, it's olive oil. Exactly. Yeah. Devo hat sells it. <laughs> it does. Oh, I should have renamed it Olive Oil before I launched. But I did I just didn't see it when I was in the VAB. It was only when I got out to the launch pad. I'm like, I don't really see what that is. Yeah. Nently does it. She's still burning the rocket booster at 15 kilometers. Do love a good satellite launch. There's so much. I always underestimate how much I need for it. Yeah, Zaibatsu, you can't paste images in chat. Demo. Like, that's not how Twitch chat works. No, that's that's not even an image. That's just the that's some weird uh is that the weird like link or something or the I don't know what that is. Ah <coughs> <coughs> oh, dear. Paste sarcasm, how affected it is, remains to be seen.
There we go, look at this. My weird little rocket. Can I will pop that before we run out of fuel on these side pods. Yeah, I'm... I like deliberately making differently shaped rockets now that I feel like I've got a good handle on how to get where I need to get to. I think it's... I think there's something... There's something fun about not doing just your standard pencil every single time. No, oh, actually I'm wrong. I don't, uh, no, I'm still at 65. It's probably safe for me to pop it, but... Lemo. Uh oh. I might have not been paying attention to my apoapsis there. Oops. Oh, those birds. Those birds. Shut up, birds. Oh, I am not looking forward to trying to get this to land in the right spot. I think I'm going to really struggle with that. Flammo! Do you know what I want to get? <laughs> it's like a starter's pistol. Just so that I can go bang! But I think it'd upset Charlie, so I probably shouldn't do that. But it'd probably scare off the birds. The, uh, the tape that I've ordered, the reflective holographic tape, has not yet arrived. I'm willing to bet that the eBay seller that said it was being shipped from Sydney lied, and it's actually coming from China. A couple of 2 by 4s slapped together does a pretty good job. That's a good point. That's a very good point. I didn't think about doing it that way. Charlie had learned pretty quickly once I picked him up what was going to happen. <laughs> yeah. eBay seller totally wouldn't lie about such a thing. No, never. Okay, there we go. This is becoming a very overcomplicated mission, which is exactly what I try and do, but this is taking it a step further than I wanted to. Now, if this hadn't happened from a bug, if I had to go and do a resupply mission like this, I would count it as a almost succeeded mission. Now, it's only if I lose a Kerbal that I count it as a or the whole rocket that I count as a full-on fail. Oh no. No, you're kidding me. It's now in the dark. <laughs> no. Oh, that's the worst. Oh, I'm gonna have to wait till it goes to dayside. 
I don't have any lights on this thing, so I'm not going to land in the dark. Round and round and round we go. And, oh, make myself ill. Stick at the slightly slower speed. Yes, it is a good thing that Kerbals don't run out of food or air or water. there. That should be about right. I don't really care about the efficiency here. I've got way too much fuel. going to attempt to get myself into that crater. See how close I can get. Yeah, you can really see um, with the craters on the moon why the Death Star looks like a moon. There are so many angles where it's like, oh yeah, oh yeah, I can see why that would be thought that way. Something like that'll do. Correct it once I'm closer. Alright. Bring it down. Something like that. Yep, big grey angry crater of death, exactly. Uh, thanks Tommaso, thank you for the uh, additional reminder. Yep. Uh, I'll do this landing and then I'll have to go quickly set up my pudding. Can I do it? I wish I could run two simultaneous predictions so we could do a prediction on this little bit of the mission. <laughs> Same to you, grumpy older one. <laughs> Sugar is kind of a thing I'm into. Yep. I can appreciate that. Get this onto the spot. Oh, wait. I want it on orbit.
I should end up coming down pretty close. Might try and get myself a little bit closer though. Oh yeah, I need to not drop the booster on him. Good point. Um. Hmm. Should I detach it now? Yeah, probably. Let's detach it now. That is not the way I want to go. That is. Now we'll flip around and we'll stop that. So I think that's pretty good. Alright, looks like the boost is well clear. <laughs> yes. Huh? So you need some fuel? Huh? Oh, six Ks away. That's a bit far. I think this is going to be close enough. As close as I dare anyway with how much fuel I've got left. <coughs> Alright. <laughs> So it'll be about two kilometers away. That's not too bad. I'm pretty happy with that. The resupply lander is not going to be recovered. This is going to remain on the moon forever. There's a part of me that wants to try and get toward where the other landing is, even closer, but there's a bigger part of me that knows I'm going to really struggle to do that sort of flight. Oh, wait, yeah, I do need to get closer, don't I? <sighs> Poop. So he's got to actually walk this, doesn't he? Man.
Oops. Nope. Too far. Too hard. Okay, I landed... how far? Just a little over a kilometer away. <laughs> That's not... too bad. I could certainly have done worse. So my thought was... What I can do is I can actually get Bob out, fly him over there, and build the whole thing over there, get the science flying back. Because I brought enough parts to the entire experiment where that is. So it's actually not too bad. But I will be back in just a minute. I gotta quickly put my pudding on to get it warmed up before I head off to my family thing later today. Uh, which means let's do this one. <laughs>
Okay, I'm back. Putting his on. I'm all good. <sighs> I always imagine this is just the clone washing machine. <laughs> yeah, that works. Right. So, now... Let's get Bob out on EVA. Just check that he's got the gear. Yes, he does. Alright, Bobbo. Let's fly. This purple pink thing here, if you're talking about it, is the marker. It's the HUD marker for the lander that I just brought in. Brought in. The resupply mission. Hopefully I can complete this science mission now. And down. Yeah, it it does look a bit like chromatic aberration with that color. All right, Bob, let's do this stuff. Grab those. Grab another one. Grab another one. Then we'll grab a control. Nope, can't grab both. Okay. <laughs> Is this going to work? Power units required, power units produced zero. What? Um, it's working? It doesn't look like it's working. Power state powered. Oh, power state powered. Right, okay, yeah. I see it. Connection state connected. Hooray! There you go, Bob. You're doing science on the moon! While I try and get a thumbnail. <laughs> yeah, I imagine engineers would be useful. 
so, how on earth do I know when I've collected 50% of the surface deployed mystery goo observation science? Also, is there any way to reset my camera without manually resetting it? Like, science completed 0.01%. Does that have to get up to 50%? Okay, it's going to take a while. Well, let's enjoy some time lapse of Bob standing near these things and the sun going around. Let's find a good camera angle for this. Oh, well, this might work. Oh, the panels don't move in time-lapse. That's sad. Alright, where are we at? 2.75%. Oh, this is going to take a long while. This is going to take a long, long while. Five percent, six percent. There we go, fifty percent. <laughs> All right, cool. Oh, I could have just left that and flown back. Oh, well, oh well, <laughs> it's fine. It's totally fine. Uh, let's go grab my jetpack. Yeah. Uh, well, today I learned some things. So that's good. Fly back. So next part of the mission is repair is to rendezvous with the other uh, with the space station. Go. Cool. All right. So how many of these are empty? Just the first one's empty. All right. And where is the thing I'm meeting up with? It's that. All right. Uh, guess it's time to launch. And detach those two.
If the other Kerbal wants Bob in the ship, Bob's been in that suit for 40 days. Yeah, but the other Kerbal's been in the tiny little capsule for 40 days as well. I imagine it'd just be a combined level of rackness. Okay, deploy the next ones. <laughs> the other Kerbal could at least do a move around and do a wipe down. Yeah, I guess so. I guess so. But Barthat's the new guy, so that's why he's been stuck with this mission. It's it's his um hazing. It's his rite of passage. I'm gonna deal with Bob's BO. Infinite Dunbar, if you're modding KSP, look up CKAN, C-K-A-N, uh, as it's a mod manager and that's a much better way of going about adding mods. Because it'll get all the dependencies and other things like that for you. It is much, much better. I've just used CCAN for all this, and I actually searched the mods on there after some of them were recommended, but also some that I knew of. Yeah, CCAN makes such a big difference. It's the same with um, Valheim and the R2 mod manager. That makes a huge difference as well. You really appreciate how much difference having a Steam Workshop makes to a game when you're dealing with those sorts of things. Yeah, I'll just do that for now. Hey, Grozob! <laughs> 33 months, man. Thank you so much. <clears throat> yes, Stephanie is still on vacation. I st I'm still looking to see if I get a rescue Stephanie mission. I'm really hoping I don't have to force one on the game. Because I got one in my single player, I'm like, surely I'll be able to get one in this. my last learning how to not be terrible save that I had. <laughs> yes, yeah, Steam Search is terrible, but at least it's a nice combined interface for everything. Thanks, Playing Wild. I've been really enjoying this. Um, especially the extra challenges of trying to combine 20 different missions into one. Alright, now we can... Is it this way? It's probably the wrong way. Nope, that's the right way. Yay! Ah. Alright. 
0.1 deviation is not too bad. But I am almost at the opposite side of the orbital track. Oh. Uh, let's just align these up a bit nicer. Down a bit. Now I'll line it up a bit better. Uh, Flame Draken, I'm kind of the same. Uh, I've never successfully gotten a Kerbal to the surface of Duna and back. I've gotten them to the orbit of Duna and back, but never to the surface and back. Uh, I've always failed before or stopped playing before that happened. And I'd, I'd really like to achieve that before KSP2 comes out. But I'm kind of following the mission path in this at the moment rather than jumping ahead and doing a Duna mission. Because I'm having fun doing these missions as it is. And I'm hoping that it'll give me a proper mission to Juno soon. Alright, let's go up. Ascending node. See if I can correct this last point one degrees. Yep, there we go. Zero degrees. Uh, no, my auto SAS cannot paint, point to target or do anything but stabilize. Uh, you need either high level pilots or high level probe cores, and I have neither. I mean, it might be easier to do this docking using my other craft rather than this craft, because the other craft has a better pilot on, on board, it has two better pilots on board, but it's also less maneuverable because it's bigger. Alright, now we shall wait for several orbits. I think I want to bring this a bit closer on this next pass. My mistake last time was not bringing them close enough, quick enough, and then I had to do all this chasing, and it wasn't that hard, but it wasn't ideal. Probably on the next door, but we should be able to do this attempt. Kabak is considered high level ballast, not high level pilot. <laughs> okay, so our distance is down to a hundred kilometers. Ninety. 
80, 70, 50, and now we do it. Still is towards target. It's that one. It was that one that I just moved away from, isn't it? No, that's anti target. That's towards target. Twenty six, twenty five. This text is so tiny. Twenty kilometers, nineteen, eighteen, seventeen, sixteen, fourteen, thirteen, twelve. Come on. Six, <laughs> yeah, I know the text is tiny for you guys, is even worse for you guys than it is for me. Okay, now. To roll this so that my controls make sense to my brain. Four point three Ks. Four. Three and a half. Every time I do a docking maneuver, I feel like um, I'm going to stuff something up big time and just slam into it. Okay, we're down below 1200, which means I don't have to look at the map screen anymore. Let's try and cancel these relative velocities a bit. Surprisingly difficult to make objects collide. Yes. That's true. <laughs> Unless you accidentally hit the thrust when you don't mean to. Alright, let's switch to docking mode. Three hundred and seventy meters away now. I think I'm gonna have to do some crew transfer before docking just to make sure that this doesn't go weird on me. This mission. What's the saying? Using an, using an explosive to launch a rock and have it land on a penny in New York or something along those lines. Sounds about right. Oh, I'm actually at the correct end of this thing, too.
All right, let's switch to the other vessel. Let's get Jeb out on an EVA. See if this counts as a transfer. No, nah, Empanik, the, the office is long, long gone. Yay! Okay, the transfer mission is complete. But let's dock and get all the fuel tanks filled. Because then we might be able to go to Minmus. Or... Or do I... Oh, hang on. Uh... Or do I try and transfer to Minmus with the whole thing? That's probably inefficient. We'll see how much fuel's there. There we go, docked. Yeah. All right, how much fuel was on board this? I've got a lot more than, because I've still got, like I've still got the transfer stage. Yeah, I think I should use this bit Use the whole thing to transfer me to Minmus so I can get this green sandstone from Minmus. Oh, but I gotta do the satellite. I gotta do the satellite before I forget. Almost forgot the satellite. Where is the satellite? Oh. Return trip one relay. Return trip one relay. Damage moon MLA satellite. There it is. Okay, we will shut down that engine. We now have to attempt to... Why have I got this maneuver node that I can't get rid of? Why have I got my controls locked? Oh, now it's gone. That was weird. Flip this over. It was that girder that wasn't hooked up right. <laughs> yeah, can I know? Yep. Uh, I honestly don't know what fuel is about to be used, and I'm really hoping that I've got the correct... 
engine that's going to be used here. No. So that's the engine I'm using. That should be right, I think. I hope. Yeah, I've manually turned off the engine, it's shut down, and this one is... It's got a shutdown option, so it's activated currently. So we'll see how we go. See how much fuel we've got left after I fix this satellite. On this 70 day mission so far. That's got to be my longest mission yet, and it was mostly sat there on the moon waiting. to make I don't think I've got any science on the um, the station do I so I don't have to transfer any science at least thanks retribution same to you <laughs> yep much growing to be had in the next year uh, probably some personal growing on my part it's gonna be required <laughs> Oh, my timing on this might be pretty good. Look at where the satellite's at. I'll only be a bit behind it when I get to the Apoapsis. Lucky. I don't usually get that. Largely because I don't usually try. I'm scared of how upset some people in chat are going to be at my terrible transfer windows that I choose to try and get to Duna. Yeah, I always hear that having kids means the father puts on weight. Personal growth indeed. Hopefully not that growth. I'm feeling like I'm going to need to get fit. Fitter so that I can keep up with him as he grows up. Especially as I'm a bit older than average to have started. Thirty, twenty, ten, and done. Ish. Point zero eight. Can I fix that a little bit? I'm not right at the node, but I'm not too far from it. Zero six, zero five, zero four, three. Yeah, minus point one will be fine. I'm more concerned that we'll get a lot more dad voice when we get on Ruli. Uh. Yeah, at the moment that's mischievous Charlie voice. I don't need this one to be quite so perfect, do I? Because I'm not 
docking with it. I just need to get close enough that I can send a Kerbal across to repair it with the repair parts. Currently 144 kilometers from it. That's probably a little too far to send a Kerbal. <laughs> uh, we've got a short list of names. We'll see how we feel on the day. Or more correctly, my partner will decide how, how she feels on the day. And how much she wants to mess with me slash him long term. <laughs> Can you hold the repair parts and a jetpack? Thankfully, yes. Yeah, I, I assumed I'd be able to hold the the repair parts, or at least a repair part. I've got a stack of four. Um, hopefully, at least one of them can be held at a time. Because otherwise you wouldn't be able to do EVA repairs. That would be problematic. Uh, honestly, Denmaster, I have no idea what the deal is with the enhanced edition of KSP. The only enhanced edition game that I think I've bought that I felt was worth it was the um, <clears throat> Baldur's Gate ones. Just because it's that much easier than setting up the original from GOG. With the mods to make it work on a high resolution screen. Yeah, should be able to catch up a bit now. Especially if I switch to retrograde now and do a little bit as well. Yeah, Gross. Um... I bought the original Baldur's Gate on GOG before it, the Enhanced Edition was even a thing, I think. And I modded it to get it to run properly with high resolution screens so there was text you could actually read and all sorts of stuff. And it actually, in some ways, was better than the Enhanced Edition once you got it set up. Uh, because you had the advantage of there was something, there's something about the Enhanced Edition that I disliked, but I can't remember what it is now. It's been so long. But there was something about it that I was like, eh, that's not really that something I want. Oh, poop. I'm pull it's pulling away from me during that phase. I thought I was entirely inside. Oh well. It'll be okay. Down to 50-ish there. Oh, the game works from GOG without modding it. It's just that the text size is so bad because the game's so old. Uh, <laughs> it's not really something that GOG should be um, fixing as such, I feel. It's, it's kind of... It's a hard thing to justify fixing, is what I'm trying to say. Why can I not see it? I can't see the satellite. Okay, 
So if carbons. That's carbon. Carbon's that way, moon's that way. It should be there. Huh. Um, does the mission type target not show up on, on your HUD until you get close? I thought I'd get a HUD marker for it, but I'm not. Oh, there it is. There it is. I was toggling that to try and make it flash and still missed it. Still getting closer. Down to 7.2, Thanks, Infinite Dunbar. Thanks for the Prime Sub. Thanks for 18 months of it. And the effort it takes to remember to do that. <laughs> uh, 5.5... Four, three, two, one, four kilometers, three. This is not a good sized rocket to do this with, but I really don't want to uh, throw away the extra fuel if I don't have to. In fact, can I fit this all in the other module now? Probably not. Probably shouldn't be doing this right now. Especially as I've just lost tracking on the satellite. I don't remember where it is now. It's down. There it is. <laughs> One point seven k's out, and we're still closing. It's almost down at one point two. All right. If I do. Oh, that's how I do it. That's right. I need to do... Enable... Wait. Disable crossfade? What? Uh oh. Okay. Now I've just got to do this with the whole thing. <sighs> it's taking me too long to figure that out.
Okay. 0 0.2 meters relative to target. Shouldn't need to use any more RCS after this, so what I might do is pop on my RCS thrusters, put it on docking mode, and see how much I can get away with using that. Bring us the last little bit. Closing it. Two meters a second. Yep, roll this way. Oh, right, yep. I'm controlling this the wrong way. Hundred and eighty meters. This is looking good. I should be able to get to Minmus with this. Right, comfortably. Do Kerbals always fly with their mouths agape? No, they do not. Although all these ones seem happy. Very happy. And what am I supposed to repair? Repair the Communitron 16. Fifty meters. The months of body odor have made them all loopy. Yeah. <laughs> no, the months of body odor mean well I mean they they don't they don't have a nose, so they're mouth breathers anyway. Alright, I think that's as good as we get. Uh, who's my engineer? Bill, time for you to AVA, buddy. Repair. Hooray! That took so much effort for such a tiny little thing that happened. Oh well. <laughs> Over we go. Thanks, Dark Ice. Thanks for the Prime Sub. Uh, okay. Valentina. <coughs> uh, Transfer crew. Transfer. Okay, now we have no crew on the transfer stage. Good. So 
Now I can try and figure out this fuel situation. So what I want is to grab that. We'll pin that and we'll grab these and slowly fill them. See how much fuel is actually left in this thing afterwards. I suspect it's still a lot. Is there a faster way for me to do this fuel transfer? So why can't I fill that tank? I'm so confused! I don't know what's going on. I'm hoping what I can do here is transfer the vast majority of the fuel so I can get rid of this giant station stage. Yeah, does anyone know why this one's not allowing me to fuel in? Oh, now it's working. That was weird. Oh. I don't understand. I guess I don't need to. Put the fuel tanks into a stable orbit for resupply later, then you don't need to over-engineer to get to orbit and to planetary. Um, I'll, I'll probably do some custom fuel tank uh, resupply sort of things in orbit. But what I'd like to do is capture an asteroid and do that. Okay, I could select out from that one, right. Of these that one's that one's full that one's full let's move those out of the way because it keeps popping up in that same spot full 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 not full I've done them all already So this lander module stage... Oh. Oh. I'm going to have to land on Minmus's flats with this, because I'm going to have to pop off these things or get rid of their landing gear and land on the engines. I should have kept... <laughs> should have kept the extra fuel pods. Whoops! Didn't think about that. Hmm. Huh. Oh well. Okay, so we've still got a bit of fuel in there, and I've also got this fuel stage as well. Alright, get to Minmus! Uh... Yeah, I'm missing a couple of landing legs. Well, the landing gear were attached to fuel tanks which were heavy, which I was getting rid of. That's why I popped them off. Alright, I have no idea where I am. I don't really care. Uh, I also want to be going retrograde, not prograde. I think. I don't know. This appears to be correct. 
Well, perhaps this is going up. I'm in a fairly polar orbit, so I'm just like, eh. Just leave. Get myself back into Kerbin orbit. Set my target to Minmus. <laughs> See if I can complete all of my active missions in one in one fell swoop. No, I didn't leave a Kerbin in space. <laughs> it was just a satellite. I've got five on board. I got one, two, three, four, five. Uh, all right, let's push this out. He has yet to launch the Stephanie line of satellites. Yes, the ones that de Oh, you're right, Graz. I should name some of the satellites Stephanie's. That way there can be a whole lot of Stephanie's in orbit. Someone remind me of that next time I'm putting up a comm satellite. That it must be named Stephanie. Or I could rename them all, couldn't I? That would work as well. I did have a momentary freak out when you asked whether that was a curb I'd left. That would have been very annoying. <laughs> no, there's no rescue CAPAC mission. There would be a launch CAPAC into space mission. That would be the mission. Launch him into the sun. Oh, don't be like this game. I'm not back in orbit of the moon. It's fine. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna burn. Hope this works. I don't know what my mission node just did. Oh man. Okay, my orbit's gone real weird. Stupid moon! Why did you recapture me? Oof. Hey, hey, periodically getting 18 science. Handy. Wait, what? Oh. No. Uh. Decouple. Activate engine. Thanks, Crassus. Thank you for 11 months. Almost a year. Thank you very much. Alright, hello. I'm happy with that. Now we can fix this up finally because I won't intercept with the moon again. As I continue to burn fuel unnecessarily.
So I think I'm going to have a ridiculous amount of fuel come... Um, Ooh, have I been pulling fuel from here? I have. No, wait, here. No. No? No? No, no, no. Okay. Another five days in orbit. No, I, I over-engineer everything in this. TFE. It's not that I'm used to space engineers, it's that I know how bad I am, so I know I need to add lots and lots of extra fuel. And as mentioned earlier, I actually like the like to control things this way. Oh, I went too far. It'll be fine though. One point. 1.4.3210. There we go. Now, where in the heck am I going to burn so that I can intersect with Minmus? Is there anywhere... Or is my orbit too slow? about opposite that when I want to be right next to it. Dang it, game, give me a flyby somewhere. <laughs> oh, I don't know what to do. Uh, my inclination's level. I'm at zero now. Trouble is, my orbital period is not much shorter than Minmus's. And I'm ahead of it on my orbital track. Right, if I go around once more. My next pass, this might do it. Yep, there we go. Just 146 days, 147 days. <laughs> But I'll have, uh, it'll be so nice to have a clear slate with my missions. And almost there. Don't need to be particularly accurate with this one. Should be able to get this to work now. Let's get rid of that. Burn until I get an intercept. There we go. This is <laughs> this has been so bad. Oh my gosh. How's that feel looking on board this one? It's still got quite a bit. Maybe this will be a random bit of fuel that'll be orbiting Minmus now. So I could, if I ever desperately needed some, I could potentially dock to it and grab it. Because I definitely want to pop off this connector before I try and do my landing. 
cannot imagine how bad it would be without doing that. Four hours, three hours. There's the little mint ball. The staging thing is very confused. Okay, where's my parry ups? It's 130, let's bring it down to like 25. That'll do. <laughs> 21 weeks. I think it's going to be longer than 21 weeks. The rate I'm going, uh, I reckon I'll be lucky if I get them home before... What? 205 days? How long does it take to get back from Minmus? I can't remember how long the transfer usually takes. I've never really paid attention to it. Okay, so we have to land on a flat. I'm tempted to try and land on this one. How much fuel's left? 400. Yeah, let's pop it off. Why why do I not have a Oh there we go, undock. Bonk. And that should be pretty safe. Bring the landing gear up, because they're not actually going to help. Oh, the timer reset when I changed uh, craft. Oh, that's annoying. It means I have no idea how long I've been up here. It's probably been like a full 365 days. Alright, let's flip this and give me a bit of a push out onto the flattest bit still. Kerbin years are some 400 odd Kerbin days. Yeah, I couldn't remember how long it was. It always threw me when I first started playing that the Kerbal day, the Kerbin day, is only four hours. And so it always threw me off when I was counting down days uh, in warp, and I'd always mess it up as a result. Six hours a day, sorry. That always messed me up. Because I'd be thinking I had longer to wait till I needed to stop. And then it'd all just suddenly go past the marker. I'm like, no! What have I done? Why has this happened to me all the time?
426 days in a carbon year. We still need to figure out it. We still need to find out if this is going to survive landing. Oh dear. Come on, let's get down there. Re-entry is going to be interesting. Oh no, I mean re-entry on Kerbin is the bit that I'm one I'm worried about. Nice and gently here. Perfect. All right. Uh, now, where's this green stone? Also, where's my scientist? No, oh, I've already been to the Greater Flats. Boo. Is that a stone over there? Could be. What is that? Is that a parallax thing? No, because it's got... Hmm... I thought I'd be able to take a sample from this. Oh yeah, we go pick up greenstone. There we go. Last one. Hooray! Keep it. 150 science. Woo! Huh. Well, that's mission complete. Just gotta head home. Missions complete. Let me just check. Oh, I have not done a temperature scan. Okay, I haven't done a bunch of things here. All right. Log temperature. Uh, haven't done the barometer either. I don't think I've done any of the science. Just done the EVA and crew report. Cool. Okay, so we got some extra science bonuses here too. Nice. That'll be good. Good to come back with a few hundred science. Alright, Bob. You have more work to do. True, it's not mission success, it's mission parameter success? I don't know, something like that. No, Bob, don't fall off. Take the thing, collect the data, store it just in case we go past somewhere else that needs it. Cool. 
let's launch. <laughs> I can't believe this is uh, finally nearing mission complete. This has been a very long one. A bit fun way of doing it though, I think. Can we have all kerbals touch the ground? Uh, does it matter? Ooh. Hold up. We've got a crew report from here. So much more science. Where's the thermometer? There it is. Uh, how long is it going to take me to get to my apoapsis? Six minutes. Let's do it. <laughs> Chance it. Collect. Remove. Restore. Collect. Restore. Take. Take. Put myself under some time pressure there. Fun. Some fun. Uh, do I have an EVA report? Yes. I've got all the other bits. Okay. Yeah, I'm getting better with the jetpack. Oh, thinking about how I am with the jetpack now makes me so embarrassed about what I stuffed up. Or how it went all wrong when Capac and I were playing the multiplayer KSP stuff. Oof. I, I bet I did something stupidly wrong. Wait. Wait, that was another science that hadn't been done. Let's leave Minmus. Oh, I haven't done any of the science high over Minmus either. Okay. I'm going to come home with heaps of science. Bob, out you go again. Grab your AVA report. Take all the data and then store it again. Ah, oh, I'm glad you're enjoying it, <laughs> Mike. Um, I'm not sure when I might do more stuff with Farming Sim, but it was fun with Black Shadow. <laughs> It's a good bit of fun silliness. I think it got a little too silly once <laughs> Kapak was there because he didn't realise how silly we'd already been. So he decided to add his own to it. And it <laughs> went maybe a bit too far. Just a bit. Okay. I think I've got enough fuel to do this. I still got fuel in these tanks. Are they empty now? They are empty. Here we go. I 
Uh, the pudding doesn't go in the oven, it gets uh, steamed. So it's fine. It can get steamed for as long as it likes. There's not really any limit to it. As long as the water doesn't dry out. Which should be fine with how much I put in there. There we go, down to 45. Alright, re-entry, here we go. I do love that. The spinning ball, the spinning marble as you come towards it. I think I pushed this one a little further than I should have uh, for this approach. Gonna start burning now, I think. Oh wait, I got plenty of thrust. Eh, the payload doors can stay open. They're extra breaking. Everything in there is gonna be detached anyway. I've got a heat shield here, which I'll be using. Or I intend to use at least. I'm actually going to be pretty close to the KSC as well. Okay, we are inside atmosphere. I'm just going to keep burning. Yeah, until I run out of fuel and then I'll pop it. Can I land on top of the VAB? No. I think I'd struggle to do that even if I was doing a star hopper style launch where I was just going, trying to go hop. This is looking good. This is looking good. Get rid of the aerodynamic forces. So annoying that that's the same key as the steam uh, screenshot key. Thirty kilometers up, fifteen hundred meters a second. I think my trajectory is flat enough. I've got plenty of heat shield, that's not going to be a problem. As long as I stay flat enough that I slow down enough. Eighteen thousand, a thousand meters a second. That's sixteen thousand. Come on, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. So I can pop my drugs. Drugs away. 14 kilometers up. Where am I in relation to the KSC? Oh man, I'm in the mountains next to it. I am pretty chuffed with that. Yeah. <laughs> that is a pretty good return. So many eyeballs. Shall I jettison the heat shield? Maybe. 
Oh, career report. Why not? Let's get three and a half science. It's totally worth it. So what's happened in this mission? I launched two vehicles to the moon, one to become a space station, one to become this. I've landed on the moon, I've repaired a satellite in orbit of the moon, I've deployed orbits in uh, satellites in orbit of the moon. I've What else have I done? I landed on Minmus, I collected a green sandstone. I have done a lot. This has been a ridiculous. No, no, I'm not going to hang a Kerbal off the side. I'm always worried they're going to drop off and I haven't yet played around in a creative mode save where I don't care to find out whether I can work out how to use the parachutes without so I don't get them killed. Oh yeah, a part got deleted because of a bug and I had to run a resupply drop to the moon's surface. That happened as well. <sighs> what a satisfying mission. And plop. Hooray! Oh. Uh, Bob, you got some more science to do. Take a surface sample. Do an EVA report. Uh, collect all the stuff. And now we do another crew report. And we recover the mission. Everybody's back home. Nobody died. That is mission complete. How the heck did I manage to pull that one out? The 20 people who agreed that that was what was going to happen? You got this. That was like a two to one payout too. More than. There we go. 1,500 science to play with next time. So, um, I will be back probably... Yeah, I'll be back on Thursday with some more Valheim. Uh, and I get to show off the progress that I've made on the stonework of the bridge in that, which I'm really excited about because that was... That's been a lot of work to put together. Oh boy. Um, and hopefully get some more things done like that. The, I'm going to do a bit more escapades up in the mountains. But yeah, I'll be back on Thursday with some more Valheim. So there's all that and plenty more to come. And I will see you then. Thanks for coming, everybody. Where are my buttons? I've lost all my buttons. <laughs>